Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey there! On behalf of Chris Prello and the Lock and Gnome channel, this is Lamar from the Wilson Tech One channel. I'm here every week talking about something techy or geeky, and this week, I think I'll never have to buy anything again! Woo! Well, that's if I want to be labeled a scumbag by some. <laughs> so a few weeks ago, Best Buy put an end to its infamous 15% restocking policy. That's right, no more do you have to pay 15% if you bring something back and nothing was wrong with it and you just didn't like it. Now, this is for most electronics, not all of them. But it's still a win. I think that's a great policy to change. However, the consumers came up with an interesting question that I myself came up with when I heard about this policy. I mean, won't this just cause some people to rent their electronics? I mean, I mean, let's think about it here. So you have a presentation for work later in the week and you need a high-powered laptop and a high-powered projector. But you don't want to keep them long term. So according to this policy, in effect, you could buy them and within the return period, return them hassle-free. Doesn't matter if you had a technical problem with them or not. That's right. You never have to fake like something is broken when it really isn't just to get your money back. And you know you've done it, don't lie. Center. <laughs> what about that huge TV you want for the upcoming Super Bowl? Hey, that could just be a hassle-free rental. Now, according to MacRumors.com, on Tuesday, January 11th, Apple will be doing a similar thing. That's right, Apple will be getting rid of their 10% restocking fee. So basically, in effect, you could buy a Mac and then realize that, hey, I just bought an overpriced computer, what did I just do? And return it with no obligations. <laughs> oh, I kid, Mac people, don't get your undies in a bunch. If you're happy with your purchase, that's all that matters. But I have to say that these changes are very pro-consumer and I think that this is a good thing for everyone, but I have to wonder, will people be abusing this and in effect make it worse for us in the long term? Well, Lock and Home audience, that's why you're here, so let me know in the comments what you think about this. I do current events videos in this format every weekday on the Wilson Tech One channel, so if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. My link is below. Thanks for watching, Lock and Home, and I'll see you later.